All praises to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, Basham Makar Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect to the nation of Israel. This is going to be a lesson on how further judgment is coming down on these wicked women, all right? And this is going to just be me talking about um, talking about how this woman here, Selena Powell, all right, has been sentenced to jail for um to for two years, man. She's been sentenced to jail for two years. And, like, just to give a quick backstory on this woman, right, she's pretty much the product of the whole, um, like, Jodie Marsh, Katie Price, Pamela Anderson, Page Free, Playboy, Instagram, OnlyFans. She's, she's, she's pretty much a product of all of those types of um, things being pushed on the earth, man. She's a product of these types of things. And these, these are all things that she, like, is either a product of or actually took part in, right? And she actually became a millionaire through things such as OnlyFans and stuff like that. She she was a millionaire and is a millionaire as right now as she is in is in jail, I believe, man. Right? So I'm just gonna read a bit of this. It says infamous clout chaser Selena Powell sentenced to two years in prison. And like she doesn't she doesn't look the best. She's not in my opinion an attractive woman anyway, right? But it just it's just a sign to show that this makeup and whole makeup industry and stuff like that is witchcraft, man, right? And they're able to use this put these potions that they put on their face to try and get more praise from men. And a lot, I want to say this as well, a lot of women that men men like simp over and act like they're so amazingly beautiful and stuff like that, right? If these women was to not have access to makeup, they'd be looking like deaf, man, right? Especially from our women, man. They'd be, they'd be wearing weave, they'd be wearing fake eyelashes, they'd be wearing all these different things to make their skin look like it's like it, they've got um healthy healthy looking skin they've been making their skin be all one tone hiding the pimples and the spots and the blackheads that they've got all on their face right witchcraft and then through that they're able to manipulate men and get things out of them and extract funds like what this woman did which she, i don't I, I don't believe she i don't i don't know if she's an israelite but more than likely considering how much of a hole she was she more than likely is man let me carry on reading this. It says, infamous clout chaser Selena Powell sentenced to two years in prison. The name Selena Powell should probably shouldn't ring a bell in the rap community, but it does. The infamous clout chaser has claimed to have slept with numerous rappers, including Snoop Dogg, Young Fog and Offset. She even admitted to faking a paternity test, alleging the Migos rapper had impregnated her. So here it is. She was doing all this wickedness. Lying, lying about people's lives, like, and I swear that I'm pretty sure. So, like, I don't swear because according to the scripture, we're not supposed to swear, man. But I believe that she also said that she did something with some uh, NFL player as well, and she was lying about it, man. She lied and said that she had a had a baby by some NFL player or whatever, and it was a lie. A lot of these women are just demons, man, right? But now they're starting to get get judged. For all the wickedness that they did, and now I'm gonna bring out a scripture, because you how it's starting to re make them realize that the ways that they're living are not right, man. And every other week, an Israelite makes a brother, or ten Israelites make seven Israelites, seventy times seven Israelites make a video about rebuking women, man, because the spirit of Yahweh is making them say these things. It's not the men themselves that are saying these things; it's Yahweh that's making them think and consider this stuff. This is Isaiah chapter 32 and verse 9. Rise up, ye women are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women. For the vintage, for the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare, and go sackcloth upon your loins. So they're realizing that the things that they thought they had, man, it ain't what it is. They're starting to receive judgment for their wickedness, man. They're starting to receive judgment. And it, and, it, and there's certain places where they kind of don't see the judgment, right? But they're receiving it, man. There, there's certain times where they kind of can escape the judgment a little bit because there's some clown simp that wants to try and do them favours. But for, them, for the, the, the day is going to come where they're going to receive the judgment in full, man. Just like everybody else is, men too. But men receive judgment in this world even when they didn't commit the crime, man. How many times is that Edomite woman lied and said that an Israelite man has did something to her and it wasn't true? And then he ends up in jail and then 50 years later, 
They're like, whoops. You can be free now, though, and we'll give you a million pounds. But he's missed out on 50 years' worth of experiences outside of outside of a prison cell and that had that traded in for 50 years' worth of experience inside a prison. With God knows what happening to him, man. Like, as if, like, giving him a few millions is going to be a trade-off. And then some clowns will say, yeah, but he wouldn't have made that if he, he wouldn't have made that if he was out of prison. Wasn't, was out of prison, though. But it's not just about money all the time. It's about life and living. I'm pretty sure he would have rather just did a normal everyday job and not been given a million pounds and had 50, 50 years in prison. You know what kind of wickedness can happen to somebody 50 years in prison? Where they got people just caged in like animals. Wickedness enough can happen outside of the prison where people have got liberty to try and do the right things more. Never mind when you're in a, in a prison with people that are like know that they ain't getting out of there. But people always make an excuse whenever whenever an Israelite is going through some he's he's going through something, man. They always they always try and justify wickedness happening to us. Isaiah chapter 32 and verse 12, they shall, shall it meant for the teats, for the, for the pleasant field, for the fruit of wine. So they're gonna receive judgment, man. Judgment's coming in a big way to every single Edomite, man. All of them. They can try and have these proud looks on their face, but the judgment's coming for them though. The judgment's going to come for them, man. In a major way. The judgment's going to come for all of these women and for all of these men of Esau. Let me carry on reading this. It says, it says, but it looks like karma is punishing her and so-called karma, as these people want to say, is going to be coming for everybody, man. It's going to be coming for all people. This so-called karma that these people want to say is going to be coming for all these people. You can't just get away with it. Let me get a scripture. You can't just get away with doing whatever you want to do in the world, man. The scriptures say God is not mocked. Let me get it. This is Galatians chapter 6 and verse 7. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So if a woman's running around, Sleeping with loads of men and, and just being a harlot in the streets, lying about people. And even though she's a millionaire, she still ain't trying to get her life right. And she's like breaching her her um, probation and all of this stuff. Well, what do you expect to happen? But because she kept getting getting time chances over and over and over again, she thought she could just keep doing whatever she wanted to do. And she's still wicked. So there's more judgment that's going to come for her than that. She's going to go prison, right? Probably come out, get get the RFID that's wrenching in Re Revelation 13 and 16 and then get nuked in the day of the Lord, man. She's going to receive all that. Verse 8, for, for he that soweth to his flesh shall of his flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap, reap life everlasting. So you can't just be going around trying to do whatever wickedness you want to do, man. But these people think that you can, but you can't, though. Right? You can't just get away with doing wickedness wickedness continually, man. Let me carry on reading. But it looks like karma is punishing her according to the Colorado Department of Corrections website. The 26-year-old was sentenced to two years in a Colorado state prison for probation for a probation violation stemming from a 2015 theft theft ring conviction. Powell allegedly drove the getaway car, so even though she did all of that, right? She still was able to become a millionaire from just being a harlot, man. And she still didn't really turn her life around, right? She still didn't really turn... She was on Fresh and Fit. I remember she was on the Fresh and Fit podcast saying, oh, she's tired of doing this, tired of doing that. But then she was getting interviewed by people weeks later, months later, still talking smack, still on the same BS that she was on because that's her bread and butter, man. That's what she's about. She ain't going to change. The Bible speaks about repentance, but more than likely, this woman's an Edomite, and Edomite can't repent, man. And Edomite ain't got no place for repentance. They're naturally wicked. But women like this are further promoting other women to be like that, man. There's women that are 10 years younger than her that are still going to be justifying what she's doing and say, oh, yeah, but she's rich, though. So when she comes out, she's still going to be a millionaire. Let me carry on reading. It says, 
local police revealed Powell failed to comply with the terms of her probation in that case by missing multiple drug and alcohol tests and you know that she was high as hell man you know that she was missing them because she was dr drugged up man among other violations Powell was eventually arrested on on May the 1st after skipping a court date and sentenced on May the 12th in Broomfield County Powell was arrested in, in Miami Florida in March 2021 after she pu was pulled over by a Miami-Dade police, police for making an illegal right turn. She skated with a warning on that particular offence, but that was taken, in cust but was taken in custody after the officers discovered she was driving on a suspended licence. Consequently, she was charged with habitually driving on a suspended licence <coughs> and taken to a local jail. So, like, if it would have been an Israelite man, he wouldn't have gotten up so many chances, man. But Issa has been given chances over and over again. And this is a low scale. But Issa has been given chances over and over again to repent since they always want to talk and say they're righteous. They've been given chances, but they ain't talk up. And they're not going to because they can't repent, man. And a lot of these wicked women out here, they're going to be getting judged. Like what she gets judged, what, like she got judged, man. Here it is, you're a millionaire. And you could have escaped judgment. But it's your society that's made for you, right? And you still, you still a flop. And that's why we can't feel, we can't feel sorry for them, man. But you know what? I'm a, I'm a end the lesson there, man. I'm a end the lesson there. All praises to Howard Barsham Yahweh Shai, Barsham Makakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and shalom to the elect to the nation of Israel. Shalom.